So here we are in the second week of this quarantine, the second week of this self-isolation, and the more I talk to a lot of people online or over the phone or whatever, I keep hearing this reoccurring word come up, and that is stuck. Like we are so frustrated and upset because we just feel stuck. And the irony is the things that we feel stuck from are the exact things that two weeks ago we complained that we had to go to, right? We feel stuck from work and we feel stuck from school. We feel stuck from being able to go to practice and be able to go and do, you know, all the stuff that we used to do. And so there's this idea that as we're going through this quarantine, like the regular rhythm of life is broken. We can't keep moving and we feel stuck and that's frustrating and upsetting. And I guess what I'm thinking is, yeah, of course it is. Of course it frustrates us and of course it's upsetting to us that we can't move because after all, you and I were created in God's image and we have this God who is all about moving. Like think about it, right? Some of the, the, the very first characteristics we learn about God is that he is a mover, right? He creates, first of all, and then it, that he moves. Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and void, and darkness covered the surface of the waters, and the Spirit of God moved over the waters. At the very beginning, one of the first things we learn about God is that he moves. And then, two chapters later, Adam and Eve, they, they ate the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, and they feel stuck. And it says in chapter 3 of Genesis that they heard God walking in the garden. Of course, because God is always moving. And then, right, which makes sense, because two-thirds of God's name is actually go. Okay, that's stupid, though forget that part. And then finally, right right before Jesus ascended to heaven, he has this last moment with his disciples on earth, and his disciples are like, listen, like give us some last minute message. Give us that one thing that we need to remember um, before you leave. And the very first word God tells his disciples before he ascends is go. That's the Great Commission, go. So of course you and I are frustrated that we can't move. Of course you and I are frustrated that we are stuck because we are made in God's image and we have a God who's all about movement and all about growth and moving forward. But here is my point and my thought. Just because we're stuck doesn't mean we can't move. God still is a God of movement. Every time throughout scripture, it seems like God is all about calling people to movement. And when he does, they're called to do one of three things. And it's all in a notion of connecting. One way God calls his people to move is to connect to each other. And so here's my quick thought. This morning, this week, while we are stuck and in quarantine, who is God calling you to move toward? Who is God calling you to connect with? Maybe it's a grandparent, maybe it's your neighbor, maybe it's that classmate you never talk about or talk to, but who is it that God is calling you to connect with? Secondly, it also seems like God always is about moving us to connect with himself. And so maybe during this time, you feel called to connect to God in a certain way. And so what is that way? How are you called to connect to God now? And then finally, the third thing that seems like in scripture, God moves to connect his people to their purpose. Maybe up until this point, you've just been going through this grind of life. You're just in this rhythm of life that you don't really stop and think a lot about what you're doing and how you're doing it. You're just getting through the grind of life. But maybe now, during this moment of pausing, we can actually stop and reflect and connect. What is it that God is calling me to? What is your purpose? And so perhaps, as you're thinking about being stuck, we can reflect and realize that we have this God who moves and so he's continuing to move. How is God moving in your life? And is God calling you to move, to connect to someone? Who is that? And then maybe you should do that. Who is God calling you to connect, or how is God calling you to connect with himself? And how are you gonna do that? Maybe he's moving you to connect with him at a more personal, intimate, authentic level. Or maybe third, 
God is calling you to connect to your purpose right now. And maybe right now, during this time, you need to stop and pause and think about your purpose. But at the end of the day, just because we're stuck doesn't mean we have to stop moving. Jesus invites us to a perichoritic relationship, perichoresis, that means to dance with him, which ultimately means dancing with God means that we are moving. How are you called to move with God today?